The Frog Princess. Does she live in this magic pool? Look out, Jeff. What happened? Jack is in a royal palace. Look. Jack has been changed into a handsome prince. And here comes a royal stargazer. He says, His Majesty the King wishes to see you, my prince. Seated on his throne, the king calls for a little snack before dinner. What is it he wishes to tell his son? My son, it's time you married. The stars have commanded that you shoot an arrow into the air. The one who brings it back will be your bride. The prince wastes no time. High into the air he shoots. Who will find it? The prince tries to imagine his future bride. Will she be blonde? A brunette, perhaps a beautiful redhead. But the arrow falls into a swamp. There are no beautiful girls here, only a croaking frog that finds the arrow. The frog comes to the palace to tell the prince her story. You see, she's really not a frog, but an enchanted princess. One day in her garden, a terrible thing happened. An evil magician declared his love for her. And when she refused, he changed her into a frog. Will the prince help her? Of course he will. The frog will carry him to the good fairy, who will tell them what to do to break the magic spell. Deep in the forest, in a quaint little house, lives the good fairy. And here she is with her faithful pets. Now in her magic crystal ball, she sees the wicked magician, the cause of all the trouble. See his beard? There lies his power. The prince must cut it off with a charmed sword. But the sword is buried underground and is guarded by a giant head. You will need a horse, says the fairy. And lo, the frog becomes a horse. Away they go. Through the forest and over the sea, the prince rides to fight the wicked magician. What's that? It's a little mole in the clutches of a big blackbird. The prince shoots and the mole is saved. Now to get that sword. Look out. The giant head is a tough fighter. No wonder the prince is discouraged. The mole he saved offers to help him. With all the friendly moles digging, they'll soon have a passage under the giant head. The grateful mole really repaid the prince. Look, there's the charm sword. Now to find the magician. Even the big iron gate must obey the sword. The magician is on the lookout. The giant head blows the alarm. Big blackbirds attack. The prince defends himself. Now the magician gets into action. But all the black magic doesn't frighten the prince. He's got to cut off that beard. He does. Good for him. Without the beard, the magician hasn't any power at all. And that's the end of the magician and his evil castle. 
And the giant head? Who's afraid of a big old rock? The prince is victorious. The evil spell is lifted from the princess. And here is a magic carpet to take them back home. They make a perfect landing. and live happily ever after.